Hi Scorpio. Happy birthday. It's your birthday season. Welcome to what does spirit want you to know. Um, you're first out of the gate this morning, this week. So we're going to find out. We're going to do a Celtic cross and find out what the Spirit wants you to know. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon and rising signs. And if you're still not finding the answers you're looking for, perhaps another tarot reader. This I do know. If you have a question, Spirit wants you to have the answer. So ask for guidance. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for my Scorpio friends. I thank you that they're here looking for guidance from you. We thank you for clear and concise messages, love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Show us what is the message you have for Scorpio. What is your message for Scorpio? So we're starting out with fortune's wheel. Guys, this is your current energy. Now you're the ones who have been having this coming to life card in your readings. So if you're if this is the first time you're seeing the Scorpio message, uh, go back and check out the recent ones that we've done about um, what spirit wants you to know and stuff like that because this is serious. <laughs> so here's your current energy, fortune's wheel. And I'm going to lay them all out, and then we're going to talk about them. What's crossing you? The full card. Wow. The underlying issue, nine of water. Recent past. Sorry, I got distracted. Ace of earth. Your crowning energy. Queen of Air, Near Future, Six of Air. What is your current attitude about all this, Queen of Water? That's you showing up in your own reading. Outside influences, temptations, the um, hope and fear. Is four of air. And the outcome, king of water. Wow. Okay. So, Scorpio, let's talk about this. Again, your current energy is fortune's will. So, whatever it is that you've had coming to life or whatever, I, I'm... I don't want to settle too much on that theme, except I can't help but talk about it. Um, so whatever you've had in your life that you've been trying to manifest and bring into this reality, this is your time to do it, right? If you don't necessarily connect with that reading, those other readings about that, if you've not been following and you don't understand what I'm talking about, and you can't think of anything that you've got coming to life, then this is telling you that this is your time to do something. Um, this this is whenever the fortune's wheel shows up, the wheel's always turning. But when it shows up in your in your reading, it means that you're on the top side of the wheel. The universe is like is like um, giving you momentum to push yourself over into a new um, area of your life. Things are about to change. Opportunities show up. Things like that. Things just happen, and. Uh, and you need to be ready and prepared. But this is this is your current energy. This is what's surrounding you right now. Your what's crossing you is the full card. Okay, so the crossing card can either be a bump forward or a challenge. And so it's either you're fixing to get that bump forward and walk right into this, whatever it is that's been coming to life, or it's that that step, that actual step to to bring it here has got you a little freaked out one or the other. So if you, again, haven't been following this and can't relate to something already coming to life in your reality, then this is also whatever it is, this new opportunity I talked about, the fortune's wheel and all that, uh, there could be something unexpected coming in. You could be, you could have been thinking about, um, 
how how awesome it would be to get that job or whatever. Sometimes we manifest things unwittingly because we just think about it. Oh, how awesome would it be to get that? But we don't necessarily believe it, so we just kind of leave it there. But we leave it there with that good thought, and then we go about our business. If we could manifest everything like that, or if we could treat everything like that, because those are the things that seem to come back in our lives. And that's what this is showing here, that you've got some unexpected opportunity, likely something that you have thought about or dreamed about that's fixing to come out, come into your reality if it hasn't already. Or you've been offered an opportunity and you're kind of afraid of it. The underlying issue is the nine of water. Now this is the same as the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment, right? So it's like this is the seat of, of what's been going on here or what is going on here. It is something that you've you've thought about. Like I said earlier, maybe you thought about you thought it would be Boy, it'd be nice to have that, or, or I wish I could have that, and then you just kind of left it there. Sometimes those are the very things we manifest because we don't dwell on them. But if you're doing the coming to life, I hate to keep going back and forth, but God, if you if you're the if you're with that group who's been resonating with that those coming to life readings, it's this is something you have been working on and you have been manifesting, and you feel like it's going to change your life, and it will. This is a wish fulfillment card. And she has she has found her treasure. Look at her. She's so grateful and in such gratitude because this truly is turning in to be everything that she's wanted it to be. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Earth. So you have likely uh, brought something into... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You brought something into your reality uh, whether it be a, a rough draft to invent something, whether it be whatever it is, you have you have brought something from your mind into your physical reality, and you didn't do it all by yourself. This was an ace for me is always a gift from the universe, and it's not something that um, hmm, not something that just anybody would necessarily uh, jump on or work toward. But you have, you've, you've taken the strong uh, steps to move forward with it. And, and this for me is more about the coming to life cards. The ones who have been working on things and working on things, it is coming to life. It, you have gotten on top of it and, and you've been very strong and diligent and resourceful and methodical about, about taking the steps to bring it to fruition, right? So that's really an awesome uh, story. So far, the whole thing's an awesome story, really. The overall energy is the queen of air. So what this is telling me is that you're at a place right now with this manifestation or this opportunity or this whatever it is you've been working on. You're at a place right now where you have detached yourself emotionally or you are, or you are needing to detach yourself emotionally, one or the other. For me, the overall energy card is about our angels, our higher self, our guides, and all that. So it's like if you haven't already detached yourself emotionally, they're saying detach yourself emotionally and walk through the rest of the process in a very uh, detached way. Let your, especially if you're on the home stretch, you know, let your intellect be your guide. This is mind over heart. You've done all the heart work. Now it's the mind work. It's the methodical, uh, get the paperwork signed, get the permits uh, in line, those kinds of things. So that's your overall energy right now. Your near future, sailing into smoother water. And it's because of, it's because of whatever this is that you've been working on. Universe is saying you're sailing into smoother water. Now, I want to remind everybody, this is a general reading. So regardless of what I'm saying here, it's going to resonate with you differently for whatever you've got going on in your life. And it may not resonate at all. If you don't have anything going on in your life right now that, that like sometimes I get comments, 
Boy, I can't wait till this happens. I can't wait till I figure out what it is. Well, then this probably isn't your reading. But if you've been working on something and you know you've been moving toward it steadily, then it's probably your reading. Now, let me say this. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you don't have something going on, go find something and get it going on. Because you're you're in you know th this is this is a good time for that kind of stuff um retrograde might not be the best time to start something new but you could definitely start the research you could definitely start the uh the digging and finding out and going within and figuring out what it is that you want to have come into your life but for those of you who have been resonating with this it's on your attitude about this, you're you're actually at much peace about it. Um, it's funny that the crowning energy is the queen of air and your attitude is the queen of water. This is your sign. But the queen of water is emotionally intelligent and the queen of air also is emotionally detached. So it's like, it's almost like you have to be emotionally intelligent to be able to detach emotionally. So you have every um, capacity within you to understand and detach yourself emotionally so that you can do the mind over heart stuff that needs to be done at this point in this process. But yeah, that's, that's your attitude. You're, you're at peace. You know it's coming. You, you're, you're walking it through and no worries. See, no worries. I have outside influences is temptation. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. What is temptation about? Um, it's about earthly attachments. It's about uh, things that get us hung up, things that, that can get us tripped up, addictions, um, self-sabotaging thoughts, and things like that. But I don't think this is about self-sabotaging thoughts for you. I think that that this the reason this card is here as your crowning energy because I feel like the, on the outside you may run into a roadblock um, something completely out of your control but that like governmental um, agencies say you have to do this or you have to do that the permit isn't coming along just fine the uh, if you're opening a bar or something the the alcohol license isn't coming in. There's some kind of red tape that that has the potential to trip you up emotionally because it's like you'll be right there at the finish line and I'm not predicting this, I'm just saying something like that. You'll be right there at the finish line. You'll run into this red tape and you might have the tendency to let it um, get to you. But the universe is saying don't do that, okay? Keep your cool. Keep your emotions intact, detached, and all that. Your hope and fear. <laughs> this is the four of air. And it's almost like you're at a place with this process that you are uh, just ready to have it done. Okay, let's just be done with this. It's the same as the four of swords. In the four of swords, traditional tarot, He's resting, right? He's laying on this thing and he's resting. There's a sword resting underneath his bed. So basically it's saying he's overcome this issue. But with this, with this card, look at her. She's just a little bit impatient and frustrated, right? Because she's ready to be done. She's ready to have it here and be done. So, but the good thing is she's, she's the air attitude like this. She's not getting emotional about it. She's just ready. And that's, that's where your, uh, your hope and your fear is, let's just be ready, let's get this done. But your fear is that, uh, your fear is likely the same thing except opposite, if that makes sense. It's likely, uh, I want to get ready, I want to be done, but I don't want to miss something. I'm afraid that with this attitude, I might miss something that needs to be done if I, if I roll my eyes when the the inspector comes in or whatever it is so so yeah that's your hope and your fear but look your outcome again there's your card scorpio it this guy is happy he is um being generous he's emotionally intelligent look at that he's 
he's reaching for that little fishy. He's in a state of full bliss. Um, not like ah, excited, but I mean, that might happen too, but he's emotionally intelligent. He's just, he's, he's at peace with where he is and he's conquered the, whatever it is that he was trying to conquer for his kingdom. And, and it's a very emotional, uh, emotionally charged maybe kind of deal because so much is riding on it, but he's got it. He's got it under control and he's very unconditionally loving and all that other stuff. So whatever this is that you've been working on, um, this guy is, is he's look at, look at him. He's at total peace. That tells me that it's, it's done. It's finished. And all he has to do is live in it. So I'm real excited about that. We are going to pull a uh, an, an energy card and see what is the overall energy with this message and or the oracle message with this message. And then we're going to do a PS and then we're out. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us. Can't take it because I'm not finished praying. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Show us the oracle message that goes with this reading for Scorpio, please. Please show us the reading, uh, uh, the oracle message for this reading as it goes with Scorpio. We thank you for clear and concise messages, love, light, and prosperity, and clarification, confirmation, and validation. Well, we didn't get coming to life for a third time, but we did get sac sacred pool. And the number's 47. 4 plus 7 is 11, right? Look at that picture, how beautiful. We're going to read the card. It says, The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. So when you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? The sacred pull card asks you to focus on self-love and self-esteem. We're all works in progress. So a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Reflect by the sacred pull and, at, and be at peace with yourself. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? Do you notice the sparks of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to respect yourself and act in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. Your unique service, this makes me think about this card, about rolling your eyes whenever the inspector says you still got to do one more thing or whatever. Um, I don't know why that made me think of that. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace, for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence, and success shall be yours, whatever your inquiry. Okay, that's really awesome. Okay, so we're going to get the PS and we're out, guys. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us the P.S. as it relates to this reading for Scorpio. We thank you for clear and concise messages, clarification, confirmation, and validation, and we thank you for love, light, and prosperity. Okay, what is the P.S.? <laughs> Look, this is the major arcana of that this is the wish fulfillment card whatever this is that you've been working on um it's here it's coming it was a gift from the universe there it is again look you have the the ace this is the same as the ace of pentacle so they're they're giving you the project that brings you the money and it brings you emotional fulfillment also a gift from the universe 
and all you're going to have to do is move forward with it. All you're going to have to do is take it and run with it. You've just got a few steps left to go, and then you're going to be able to just take it and run, whatever this is. Scorpio, I am so excited that you stopped in today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, have a super-duper day. Bye.